Hey everybody, welcome back to my Square um, series tutorial. Um, today's tutorial will be on how to add items to your Square website. Um, my name is Jakia. I am the CEO and founder of Javon Services. So uh, uh, without further ado, let's get started. So there are two ways that you can add products to your website. The first would be to go on the left hand side of your square dashboard and click items to create to add an item you would just click on create item I'm gonna add the item name And you can add a category. There are none, so you have to add your own category in the other menu. But you add a short little description. Okay. You can put the amount of things that are on here and your price. And I really like this um, option that Square has, which is you can switch how you charge. So you have per item, per hour, per liter, ounce, pound, and yard. You can also add your own SKU number, which is nice. Um, and then there are also some, some really nice things such as custom attributes. I've never used them before, so I don't know how those work. Um, and then there's also a way that you can create an online checkout for just this single item. So I'm going to click that. And you have to save it first before a link can be created. And then what I'm going to do is just add a picture of the item that I'm going to sell. You can just add a part, uh, color or you can add a picture. So what I'm gonna do is just add a picture here. I have a few pictures for my products. So now it's there. I'm gonna click done and save. Now that it is saved, there is a single checkout line uh, link i'm sorry that you can send to people that you're looking to sell your product to or post it on a website or your social media like facebook instagram etc however we're not going to use this option as your website option so now that it's here um living in your items box you can select categories and create a category. I'm going to put digital products. I highly recommend adding a category section just because it makes things a little bit easier for your customer's experience. I personally don't sell any physical products at this time, um, but once I do, I be adding it to that category so now this is the first way that you can add items to your your website the second way is you're going to go back to your regular square dashboard and you're going to scroll down on the left hand side until you get to online or you can click online checkout either way is fine i'm going to click online and this is going to take us to the back end of the website that um, I have created. So here we go. On the left hand side, there's an overview. You're just going to scroll down to items. And you can click site items. than I wasn't supposed to. <laughs> Site items. Now we just gotta wait for it to load. 
There we go. So as you can see, it's telling me that I have no site items. And the reason why is because I have to select them from the item menu that we were just in. So we're going to go to select items. And as you can see, here's my product. I'm just going to click done. And now that that's there, it's going to show up on my website. And normally, what you will want to check for is to make sure that this item is visible. If it says hidden, you want to switch it over to visible. Then you can kind of um, select here or choose which option you want it to be as far as how your customers are going to get it. So once you're done with that, you click save. And then you come back over here to the left hand side and click website. I'm going to go to edit site. And now that we're back to the regular site, this is asking for a newsletter. I don't have a newsletter <laughs> for this, um, so I'll pay that in mind. But now here we are on the back end of the website. This one is actually for um, editing and design. Edit and design. So you're going to go up here in the left hand corner and go to shop all. Remember, we just created that. And now with shop all, as you can see, my, my item is there. So whenever you create new things, or add new things to your website, you have to make sure you click publish. And once this, once you publish, you would just copy the link again, which would look different because um, you guys would have it in the first column, but you will copy that and then add that to your um, social media page, post, or whoever you're sharing your website with. All right. So I hope that video, this video was helpful. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment in the video section or shoot me an email at info at Thanks and I'll see you in my next video.